Only the Brave tells the story, true story of the Prescott Fire Department and their, uh, as they try to gain the hotshot title of the Taiwan firefighters fighting wildfires, if you would. And they later on became the granite uh, mountain hotshots. Yeah. And inadvertently, like though, in his early video comes, it's all put to the test. Now we don't get to see the rise, if you would, because something that started in 2007 went on for a couple of years. We basically, by the time the movie starts, we're at the very end of the... 2012, yeah, 2013, somewhere, something like that. Yeah. The movie isn't specific. Uh, it, that was one of the things that kind of bothered me because I'm, I wasn't really aware of like what year we were in because like pre-2010 and after 2010 well, it, like, really makes a, it makes a little bit of a difference I in didn't really to care things. to tell you the but truth just exactly, because that was it doesn't experience. matter exactly I knew going into the movie I knew it was something about firefighters I thought it was based on the true story but I wasn't sure because I didn't check I didn't watch the trailers I didn't read the reviews or whatever so I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was firefighters. I know it was supposed to be good. Yeah. And so that was my expectation going into the movie. And so you meet the team. You you see them become Granite Mountain hotshots. Yeah. And then you see them going into the fire seasons. You see their. You meet the people. I, we also actually learned a whole lot about a uh, firefighting in USA because obviously. You never, I mean, you never go with, I mean, you never notice stuff like this because we live like halfway around the world. Uh, the only contact we have with uh, firefighters in the US is basically, although we actually met one once, and yeah, uh, but if we didn't really talk about firefighting all that much, and that was like years ago before, like we were little kids, so it's like in our early teens, but it's like you never notice the difference between, there's a difference uh, between firefighting in the buildings and the wild forest wildfires yeah. in the US so like usually when we watch shows or movies they're usually based in a city like New York or Chicago where Backdraft was was yeah. it Chicago I think it was uh, but uh, so how you basically if you're not living in the USA <laughs> your experience of a fighter fighter is what you see in the movies yeah, and exactly. in the TV shows and, and it's usually building fires they're fighting in the city yeah, and so when it comes to wildfires, like there's this whole aspect to that we learned from the movie that if you have to put out fires differently, it's yeah. not the same not just, thing. Not just that, not just that. Like I mean, that goes without saying. Oh, yeah. But when you're fighting wildfires, you oh, know, you you are actually going in the uh, you're traveling around the U.S. to help fight fires all over the country because. Just because like you have a fire department at home doesn't mean you're gonna be f you're not basically gonna do anything at home because there's nothing no, going because on. So it's like yeah, you have to if, go help if a out. fire breaks out in another part of the country, you gonna they're gonna fly in firefighters yeah, hot shots but you you never, from like, you different never, places. Yeah, but you never, which is never something you, you think know, about. Yeah, because exactly. you probably think, oh, there's you know. They yeah. just pull out the fire department. But then it's like they, they put out the fire. Yeah, if they call in help, they're gonna call it from local, like neighboring yeah, counties. Neighbor, stuff. Exactly. But it seems it's not that way because the guys from Arizona they travel to, you know, Portland or wherever, Washington, wherever it was. Yeah, they do. So it's like they travel. They travel around. Yeah. yeah. California. Where they needed. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like to me that was a nice little aspect of learning more about real life actually, and like learning that. Just because you call in help, there's different kinds of help. There's a grade A help, like first class help and second class help. It's like the second class guys, they'll just be digging ditches Star two. while the yeah. Is there because I thought they call them. No, class, they, were or, yeah. they were they were one and tier two. Tier one are, hush, are the hot, hot shots, shots and yeah. tier two are the guys who go after and so the hot the, shots. Yeah, and I, they put out the remaining blazes, small fires. Yeah, but it's like when the class one Guys, can't, sorry, dude, it's just easier for me to talk no about it, but it's like when the class one guys come show up, it's like usually they're the guys leading the thing, leading the uh, extinguishing of the fire, even though they may be from different area than the one they came in, even though the guys who are in the area, local local guys, like they may be like they know the area was like still. Uh, 
to me, and it kind of doesn't make sense. Fun but because it's... it kind of it does focus on what the firefighters are actually doing. doing yeah, exactly. So you get to meet them, and you actually see how they operate. You see, then in order to put out a fire, you have to dig a ditch. You got a corner. You got to cut it off. Because we have fires here in Dalmatia too yeah. every summer, but in, uh, but the difference from but you never work. pay attention to actually how you put it out. You just figure out oh, firefighters. Not off, just that they put it out. But our fires are different, and they usually caused by human mistake or human intent. I mean, it's like they don't always just light themselves up. I mean, the heat here does get yeah. strong, but not as strong as in California. I'd venture, but so it's like. But back to the move. Anyway, so it's like the movie starts off in this little town. It starts off Prescott. slowly. Yeah, Prescott, Arizona. Prescott, Arizona. And it starts off slowly. It was funny. Like there were like three young, like th thirteen-year-olds, next to us, and they were complaining how slow the movie is. It was like I wanted to just slap them, tell them, "Dudes, the movie's just getting started. Like we're ten minutes into the movie." Of and course, they're thirteen. Yeah, and it's like, of course they're gonna start off with simple things, boring stuff first before they get to the good stuff. And of course, I was, I'm doing. I mean, I you was, have to lead into. You're not just gonna give them a blaze and be like, okay, course. here you go. Yeah, and of course. So you like, gotta. T they ease you into it. They show you, okay. They they get you to meet the team first. Yeah, George just, Rowling and uh, Miller. Uh, okay, Miller comes later. Ta ta Miles Teller, and the James Badge, Tyler Kirsch. And, yeah, and, Jeff Stutz. Everybody else. Alex is. Russell <laughs> goes on and on. Uh, there's 20, there's 19 of them at the time. And uh, as far as we know, I think they well, stuck to the, the number the, based uh, on what happens in the end. Basically, there's, there's 20 19. of them. Yeah. And you get to meet them, not all of them, but you, you don't get to see all their stories, but you get to see them, how they function together as a team. Yeah, and you see their normal, everyday people just living out their lives, trying yeah. to feed their families, trying to stay away from their vices as much as it's possible, because we're all human, we all make mistakes. And the movie, and it's like, needless to say, the kids, uh, the teenagers, uh, they they like the movie the more it went on, as it went on. So oh yeah, when the action scenes got into it, when the fires actually, when it was about putting the fires out. Yeah. When you were in the heat of the moment and all that stuff, I have no idea how they taped it. I'm pretty sure they didn't go to a wildfire and tape this stuff. But everything I'm pretty is pretty, sure it was yeah. very controlled. Everything is pretty realistic. Yeah. Even uh, though they might, it's possible they might do. They did some. Uh, on speaking the, of CGI, on scene stuff. Flaming bear, man! I, like the bear on fire was pretty spectacular. Okay, I think that was some these like class, first class CGI, man. Oh, yeah. Like visual effects. But since this is a story that is based on true events, the story has to develop in a certain way. Yeah. Way just because. So basically, you get to meet the team. You get to meet their families, you get to see how they function together, you get to see how they work when the fires are out there. Yeah. You get to see how they what they actually do for the community and how certain stuff work. Yeah. And but at the end it all leads to a certain event where stuff happens. I'm well, not sure two, we want to start actually. I'm not sure we want to spoil the movie basically, but fire is uncontrollable fire is a thing of beauty. But it does destroy a whole lot of stuff, and it really is unpredictable. And that plays well, a huge part in actually yeah, that, what happened in real life and what is portrayed on the movie. Yeah, and just watching this movie and talking about it again, even though we've seen it like less than a week ago, probably a week ago, just to be so sure. Yeah, and it's ago. like it's Sunday. just talk, yeah, talking so, yeah. about it, it's just last Sunday. But uh, listen, listen, the thing is. It's a beautiful movie. You get us a movie people. that's based on true events. That is, we're probably gonna like it. Yeah, and but when it's something like this, listen, especially with everything that's happening, not just in USA, obviously, but around, where it's the people, it's the firefighters, it's the policemen, it's the soldiers. They somehow get the blunt of the blame for what is happening in the world. We actually forget that those guys. When they put their own uniforms on in the morning, they might not come back. They're putting their own lives on the line every day. So. They wake up and they know they might not come back. So when they kiss their kids and their wives, it may be their the husbands, it might be the last time. So when you actually see, and there's heroics that are happening all the time, you just never know about it because yeah. nobody really is going to tell you. So this movie does a nice job, does a really spectacular job of telling you the story. Like, this is what a hero is. Yeah, this is what a hero does. And you get to see when certain events happen, 
you get to see how the whole community comes together. You see how stuff falls apart, but you also see how, how the stuff builds up. up. And how yeah. people step up to, you know, give their can best and do more than bumps. they think they can. Yeah. Right now. And this is like talking about that is like you talk about the characters in this movie because it's based on true story. You can really make characters up. So it's you like you can't change stuff. Yeah. You can only. I mean, yeah, you can always change a character a little. But no. But in essence, you you get the character because he portrays somebody who was there in really life. Yeah, and so to me, I think this is probably one of the best acted movies we've seen this year so far, especially when it comes to movies based on true events. Uh, I, I'm not gonna take anything away from uh, Patriot's Day, uh, but it's like Mark Wahlberg's character is really like it's no, not that, not that. it's made up. So it's like you know, it's like you, when you compare these movies that way, I think this movie is better acting. Listen, than honestly, with everything that's happening in Hollywood today, these are the type of movies I want to see more of. Definitely, I want to see the everyday people, the everyday heroes, if you want to call them. Because there are really some heroic stuff. Sometimes the hero doesn't make it home, sometimes they do. But I want to see more of these movies because I really, really like them. I yeah, get, definitely. You know, everyday guys stepping up, everyday girls stepping up and doing something that most people wouldn't dare to do. Yeah. They go beyond the Call of Duty, if you would. They go yeah, beyond what is required. Above and beyond, yeah. Definitely above and beyond. And it's really a spectacular movie. It's a great visual Visually, it's great, but Acting it's really it's the story. Wise. It's the story that drives the whole movie. Yeah. And listen, I mean, if you have nothing better to do, if you're looking up, like, okay, what movie do I want to watch? You don't want to watch the superhero stuff. This is a great movie that you can go. You can actually take your whole family and watch it. It's that good. And yeah. instead, there's nothing horrific, too horrific going on for the little kids that they wouldn't understand or even be scared of. Yeah, it's so it's definitely a great movie. Definitely check it out. Your rating? Ah, 24, 25, easy. Like I, I it's like it's the rewatchability of it. I think second viewing, I think you still get the same effect. It's that strong. It's that well made, and it's that good of a story this, yeah, to tell. Because of the story, it's because it really yeah. is about the story and the guys they brought in to act, they really did a fantastic job of portraying the real life heroes that they portrayed in the movies. Yeah. So 25 easy, same for him. Yeah. Definitely a movie worth watching and even re-watching. You get the same effect, I think even 2-3 reviews down the line, re-watches down the line. I think well, the we'll effect, see when it comes out. So. I think the effect is still gonna be the same. So definitely go check it out if you have nothing better to do. Or you, if you're on the fence, okay, what movie do I watch? This one's worth your time, definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, that's it from us. Like, subscribe, and uh, come back soon. We've got some more reviews coming, so that's it from us. Bash Bruzak.